In this video, I'm going to be looking at some of the best cheap PoE switches on the market today. I'm going to be looking at a 5 port, an 8 port and a 16 port option to find the best solution for your home or small business. PoE switches can be used for various things such as cameras, wireless access points, VoIP phones, speakers and much more. And networking rules mean that different brands can be used together without any issue. As long as you get the amount and the type of PoE correct, then you'll be absolutely fine. The cheapest PoE switches are unmanaged, which means they're plug and play solutions. You just take them out of the box and they'll work straight away. For most people, I would recommend using gigabit switches. The reason for this is you'll get the full gigabit speed rather than the slightly slower 100 megabit. Generally speaking, I would stick with well-established brands. They normally offer generous warranties, and if you do have a problem, they're much easier to return, and they tend to be more reliable. Before we get onto the switches, I'm just gonna quickly explain the different types of PoE. If you just wanna know what switch to get, then skip ahead in the video and check that part out. There are several types of PoE, but for this video, I'm gonna be focusing on the main two types, which is PoE and PoE Plus. The difference between those two is the amount of power that they can provide. PoE can provide up to 15.4 watts per port. PoE Plus can provide up to 30 watts per port. The type of PoE that a device required is normally written in its specs, and it will also include the maximum PoE draw, which is an important figure that we'll discuss in a moment. PoE switches are self-sensing, so if you plug a PoE device into a PoE Plus device, it's not going to give it too much power. It will sense the amount of power it needs and provide it. Similarly, if you plug a device that doesn't require PoE in, such as a laptop, it's not going to give it power. It knows that it doesn't require PoE. If you're planning on plugging more than one PoE device into your switch, you need to ensure that the switch has enough power. For example, if you have four cameras that each require up to 10 watts of PoE, then you must have a switch that can provide at least 40 watts of PoE power. Okay, so now let's take a look at the switches I recommend and we'll talk about some of their features. In my opinion, the best cheap five port PoE switch is the one from TP-Link called the TLSG100 5P. It's a five port unmanaged desktop gigabit switch with PoE Plus and it's got 65 watts of power. There are several variations of this switch. Some of them come with 40 watts, some of them 100 megs, but they all look exactly the same and they're very small and they run silent. They've got quite a big power pack, which is something to consider, but otherwise they're very nice devices and we use them all the time. I've put some Amazon affiliate links to this switch in the comments below. So if you want to check them out, that's probably the best place to buy them. I find that Amazon has got the best prices for these switches. These switches have a generous warranty of three years, um, but I can tell you, as I said, we use them all the time and they will just run with no issue. The switch can sit on a desk or a surface and it can also be wall mounted using the holes on the back. Next, we have the best cheap eight port PoE switch, which comes from Netgear. In my opinion, the Netgear GS108LP is one of the best cheap PoE switches on the market. The switch is small, silent, PoE plus, with a total budget of 60 watts of power. It can be desk, wall, or rack mounted, and comes with a generous limited lifetime guarantee. Again, I've added an Amazon affiliate link in the comments below, and they offer the best price I've seen online. Okay, so finally we're coming on to our last switch, the best cheap 16 port PoE switch. And this time we're going back to TP-Link with the TP-Link TLSG10106 PE. And that is comes with a massive 150 watts of PoE of power. And although it's unmanaged, it does have some smart features which allow the passing of VLANs, etc. So if you want to use it for more advanced features, you can. This switch is not fanless, so there is some noise but with all that power, it does need cooling and the price is very competitive. This switch can either be desk mounted, wall mounted or rack mounted. Um, so there's lots of flexibility in deployment. Again, the switch has a very generous three year warranty, but I can tell you it will work for years. It's a really nice little switch this. The only downside, as I said, is the fan noise. So you don't want to have it somewhere where it's too close to you because it can be a little bit irritating. Again, I've put an Amazon affiliate link to this switch in the comments below if you do want to purchase it. 
Okay, so that concludes our video. I hope you found it helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Please think about subscribing to the channel and if you want to know who we are and what we do, then check us out on Instagram. Thanks very much for watching.